Yo, what's going on YouTubers? Puffy Ben here. Uh, just doing another little video like I usually do. I'm um, kind of excited to do this one today. Uh, I've been waiting on one of these for such a long time. Um, I haven't made a new video in a while. Like the videos you guys have been seeing is ones that I've recorded for uh, weeks ago and sometimes even farther back. But I just forgot about them. I've been doing recovering from the surgery and all that and just setting it on the back burners. And I just had a bunch recorded and I just kept putting those out uh, once a week or once every couple weeks, whatever. But um I want to do this video. I'm super excited to get this freaking thing. Um, I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I used to collect lanterns uh, way back in the day when I was in high school and a little farther than that. And it's quick because a bunch of them started getting stolen and people taking them, not giving them back. Um, but super easy to fix. I've liked lanterns for a long time and stoves, stuff like that. You know that. But I was out looking around and I got inspired uh, by my buddy Jiu Jitsu 2000 and a couple other people. I started talking to them. I seen a little lantern that I just, well, as soon as I seen it, I was like, man, I got to have one of those. I think they're freaking beautiful, me personally. Um, and that's the Coleman 200A. And it's a little small single burner uh, lantern. I'll go ahead and show it to you. And I want to get you guys' advice on this. Um, hopefully this is showing up all right. You guys can see it on there. Um, this thing is in really, really good shape. I watched them for about oh two or three weeks on uh ebay and to get them on ebay they were you're gonna pay about even for one that's beat up and like i mean just thrashed you're gonna pay about 80 bucks for it minimum and uh i found one on uh let what's well, called offer up but it used to be let go they're both the same app basically now they just hybrid into each other and i found one and i'll go ahead and set this back down for a second but I found one and I had to drive an hour away to go try to get it and the lady never showed up and never messaged me back ever and I got ticked <laughs> so I kind of gave up on it and still looked around watched eBay for a while and I just couldn't do it like one that I wanted was going to be like 150 bucks or something like that to get one that was a normal decent looking one and I found another one came up there and I just messaged the dude and I was like hey man uh you're pretty far away from me and I'm pretty far away from you I was like could we meet in the middle and i said i'll drive even farther i was like you could drive a half hour i'll drive an hour and we'll just meet he said yeah i'll do that if you'll come up here and get it like tomorrow i said all right i'll be there and i showed up and uh the guy said i'm pulling in well five minutes later he still wasn't there and i was like oh they did it to me again and when he pulled in this is what he was holding <laughs> he showed up about a minute later after that so it took him about six minutes and uh he had this thing and he pulled it out and I was like, oh my God, dude, that's beautiful. He wanted, you won't believe what I gave for it. Um, I actually gave 35 bucks for it. Um, I'll go ahead and show the back of it. It did have dirt on it and stuff like that. Um, but I just wiped it down with Windex is what I did in a rag. And I oiled the pump. I took it apart and looked at it. Um, the only thing that I found wrong with it is right here on the vent. There's a little tiny chip right there. And there's not really any anywhere else. There's some scrapes on it. And the gas cap, the fuel cap here, um, is not the original cap. And it leaks. The seal in it is bad. So, anyway, I talked to the dude and he was like, yeah, 35 bucks. And I was like, really? <laughs> he said, yeah, 35 bucks. When I got there, I had no money in my pocket. And I was like, hey, man, I got 220s. You got change. And he goes, no. And... I wanted the thing so bad, I just said Merry Christmas to keep the change <laughs> and gave it to him, shook his hand and uh, got back in the car. And I was so super excited. But I did a little research on this and the way you can tell what year they are is on the bottom. Uh, I don't know if you guys will be able to, you probably will not be able to see that. But anyway, it's 9 of 61. And if you know anything about Coleman Lanterns on the 200 A's, <clears throat> there's a version of the, there's like a few different versions of the 200 A. They made millions of these things. But for less than one year, they made a burgundy version. And it started at 10 of 61. And it went on to like 5 of 62. And I read a bunch of forums. And I looked at this. Most of your red ones are red, red. Um, if you look at the, like the videos and stuff like this, and I'm telling, if you look at this, the video doesn't do it justice, honestly, because a lot of them look like candy red. 
Uh, they look about like, I don't know, maybe about like this, I guess. Um, that red. Like bright red. That's what most 200 A's look like. And the the burgundy ones, like I said, that's why they're so rare. And they, they used a burgundy color. And the reason they did that is because when they got the shipments for the vents, these lids, um, they were a different color than what they had ordered. So they went ahead and painted these to match them. And they only did that for less than a year. They didn't make very many of them. And I asked a bunch of people and they were like, well, they made them from 10... 61 to 562 and i got to looking and reading forums and talking to people and they even asked me when they seen it they said is that a burgundy and i said i don't know it looks burgundy to me and come to find out they do they did make and they said it's even ultra rare <laughs> to find one that's a different a month before or a month after and people saying that they did make them in nine of 61 and they did make them in like six of uh 52 and i actually heard of one guy saying that they they have proof of one that was like in seven of 61 but there's quite a few of them that's been i mean they know that it is a burgundy and i'm pretty sure this is one um beautiful lantern the thing everything works on it it's in immaculate shape i just want it because i think it's beautiful uh and i will use the thing it's not going to be like sitting on a shelf and my collector's edition or whatever everything works on it i got the pump working fine I tightened up the insides. I I didn't have to do anything to it except clean it a little bit. And I will have to order a new cap, which I have a cap. i just waiting on the seals to get here. Um, but like I said, it had everything. And I could not believe it. 35 bucks. And to get one in this condition, like check out eBay if you guys want. But to get one on eBay in this condition, and this is not even perfect condition, it'd probably cost 150 bucks minimum and go up from there but if i can prove or whatever that it's a burgundy it'd probably be more like two 250 is what it'd be worth so anyway uh just this little thing if you guys know anything about them or got any info hopefully you guys can help me i'd really like to see if it is because i think it's cool because just because of the rarity of them um they said the darker ones like this are the burgundy and I don't care. I'm not going to sell it. I'll never get rid of it. I just want to know if it is or not. So if you guys know anything about lanterns or Coleman's or stuff like that, uh, let me know. And uh, yeah, great little find. And thank you to, I'm not going to say his name on the video, but thank you so much for this, man. It's a beautiful lantern and I can't believe I got it. So uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. This is my Coleman 200A. And uh, probably next time you see it, I'll be lighting it up and letting you see it. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks.